Listen, the scripture said he commanded and they were created. He commanded and they were created. It is, it is as though God didn't create them by himself in terms of his hands, but God merely spoke it and they were created. Let the son be and the son was. And see, that's what I like about God. God speaks a thing and it becomes what he says it is. Uh, you know, you may say, let me give you, show you the difference between God and, and us. Uh, let's see, let me, I'm trying to, uh, I'll use this monitor right here. This monitor, uh, I would say, is black. And what would you say, what, what, what would you say it is? It's black. All of us look at it and we say that it's black. And we say that it is black because we see black. We say that it's black because we know the color of it is black, so we call it that, and we say that the monitor is black. But when God looks at a thing, he doesn't see it for what it is. He sees it for what he wants it to be. So that if God says the monitor is not black, the monitor is white. He says the monitor is white. Let me tell you what happened because his words are established and his words are so powerful that the monitor would have to change its color. Mm. He created and commanded and it was so that if God says no, no, that monitor is not black, that monitor is white, I'm telling you the the the, the, the monitor will begin to change its color and become what God says that it is. Uh, somebody said it this morning in our review that we have the same power of Jesus. So you got to learn how to speak a thing as to what you want it to be and not always talk about what it is because you have in you a creative agency as well. The doctor said, you got cancer. No, buddy. Not in this body. You might have it. But I don't have that in my body. You got to speak. And sometimes when we speak a thing, we say a thing, the thing will begin to change according to what we say that it is. That's the difference in the creative power of God. Here's something else I love about this particular verse. He says, he hath also established them in verse 6. Forever and forever he has made a decree which shall not pass. I've been on this earth for 56 years. In a few more months, it'll be 57. Yes, sir. And in all my time I've been on the earth, I've never seen the sun not shine. I've never seen the moon not govern the night. I've never seen the stars not twinkle in the night. I've never seen the rain change. You see, the rain that falls up on us is the same rain that fell in the days of Noah. And God has made these things, and he says, I have made a decree, and they will not change. And long before my time ever came upon the face of the earth, these things that God spoke has always been and they will always be because they have been decreed by God. And every time we look up at the galaxies, every time we look up in the sky and we see these things, we ought to be reminded that things around us give praise to God. And he invites us, brothers and sisters, to give him praise, to give him praise.